Always. You know, it's you're born and raised. Uh, two hours, two and a half hours from here. Born and raised, three and a half hours. So, mom is, my mom has already been up, picked out my furniture and stuff. So it was. Uh, I wouldn't normally. I've gotten that in a long time. So it's, it's been really good. Did you ever think you'd make it back to the state of Mississippi? Never crossed my mind. It's a pretty crazy time with as far as would I come back? I know I always wanted to. I guess experience been like just never know the opportunities. Uh, I remember some stuff was happening over at USM back. Then. I'm like, Damn, that would be really nice. But, uh, I am almost. Static and happy to be here. With all that said, was it a pretty easy decision whenever you were approached about the job to, to come home? Yeah, it happened quick. Uh, I remember laying on my couch and getting a call and asking basic simple questions. Are you interested? Here I am. <laughs> What's it like coming in with two other new coaches on that defensive staff? A little bit different. Now we have to put our minds together and see, okay, what are we going to do, how are we going to do it. Uh, nobody knows the players, uh, so it's, it's going to take a little longer than it normally would if it was some other coaches here that knew. And they had their routine, and they just slide right in. Guess on that other side, what's it like to have a guy like David Turner who's been here kind of a veteran and understands the program? Old vet, man. I've leaned on him from, from recruiting to what happens around here. That's the great thing about when you have one guy, a couple guys. I've leaned on him, uh, the offensive guys, too, trying to figure out and the lay of the land, as they say, uh, which they've been very, very supportive. How do you go about evaluating the talent? Um, when you have a whole couple of new players, every, you haven't every seen year, every team is coaching. It's nothing new. It's coaching. I see them. I see them moving all that. This is this is what I've been doing at this level. A hire for since I was 17 years old. So that part of it doesn't change. More than most coaches, I mean, you have obvious pride in the level of players it turns out in the state of Mississippi. What was it like getting back in and now jumping into recruiting Mississippi again? Well, I've been recruiting Mississippi. Mm -hmm. That's that's been one of my that was one of my goals when I first got to coach. Mm -hmm. I, I remember having this conversation with Terry Bowden, Coach Bowden, and Akron about let me recruit Mississippi, let me recruit, and leaving there going to Louisville. Same thing with Coach Patrick. Mm -hmm. So I've been here. Uh, I want to say. Five to ten guys in the count. How many I've actually came in and, and got a close to it. And having guys being here now, like this weekend, having guys that drive up is really, really exciting. And I'm excited about it. Why is it so important? Why was it so important to recruit Where am I from? <laughs> That's why. I, I, I think the bigger picture is when you can expand your horizon. I know for me, going out, seeing some different things, and being able to bring that information and knowledge back, uh, is very, very important to me. And, being, and that was one of the reasons I was just opening up for the guy. It was not just this, this, this. That was kind of um, one of the biggest things that was driving me. Have you talked to Coach Townsend since you got here? Yes. Okay. Yes, I spent some time with Coach Townsend. Mm -hmm. uh, he was one of the reasons uh -huh. uh, <laughs> that I came, and now he gone. <laughs> so, but yes, we, we've been friends and we remain friends. Mm -hmm. So we swap one NFL legend for another? Yeah, I guess that's the way it looks. Two Mississippi guys, homegrown. Uh, and I think we, I'm going to lean on him mm -hmm. as much as he allows me to. Coach Sermon, how well did you know him? Uh, I met him a brief. I met him a little bit last year. They actually came to Louisville mm -hmm. uh, and went over some schematic stuff. Uh -huh. uh, so, what would, would you count that? Uh, Thirty minutes, hour, <laughs> meet and greet, kind of, kind of that situation. But uh, it's been awesome. 